It's so hot. We're gonna roast. This is gonna be a dreadful night. I can't take it anymore. This much heat can't be good for you. Tonight, we've got to turn the fan to high so it won't be so awful. We should probably sleep outside so that we can handle it better. That's awesome. What a great idea. What <laughs> idea? I didn't say anything. Tonight, we'll all sleep outside. We'll take a few pillows and we'll sleep out in the open. We can also make a bonfire and tell scary stories. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I know a story that's so scary you won't be able to sleep. Who wants to start with the first scary story? Oh, me, please, please. I hope it's not too scary because I really don't like scary <laughs> stories. You won't be scared, Rita. Tonight, you will be super duper scared. Ha, 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 ha. Once upon a time, long, long ago, in a place not too different from where we are now, there was a little bear who lived alone in the mountain. Ooh. One night, the bear began hearing strange noises coming from outside. The bear was so brave that he didn't hesitate for a second to go see where the noise was coming from. He took a few steps and opened the door, and all of a sudden, boom! Ah, I'm scared! Rita, how can you be scared if you don't even know what the strange noise was? Wait until I tell you. The noise was coming from the bushes, and the bear started to walk slowly towards them, when all of a sudden, all of a sudden, what? <laughs> what happened, Moo Moo? Well, nothing. He quit hearing the noises and never heard them again. <laughs> that was good, Moo Moo. For a second, I thought there were some ghosts or something like that. <laughs> Who wants to tell the next one? I know one, but it's really scary, and I don't know if I should tell it. Don't worry. We're not afraid of anything. Go on, tell it. Mm hmm Not long ago, an old man told me a story that really scared me. More than scared, it terrified me. He went out every night for a walk in the field, since he enjoyed looking at the stars and admiring the moon. One night, everything appeared to be calm, until all of a sudden he noticed a freshly baked pie upon a rock. The old man got closer and saw a steaming apple pie. He looked around and asked himself, who's there? Is this somebody's pie? Since nobody answered, he decided to take it home. The following day, he went out for a walk again. And when he arrived at the same rock as the night before, there was nothing there. The old man thought he was going to find another pie, but that wasn't the case, and he continued on his walk. All of a sudden, he saw something shining in the moonlight. It was another pie on top of another rock. The same thing happened for many consecutive nights, and the old man never knew where these pies were coming from. As the days passed, the old man got fatter and fatter, and one day, he thought that somebody was trying to fatten him up to eventually eat him. From that day on, he stopped eating pies. Wow. That was good. I like that one a lot. Are you trying to tell me that if I eat a lot of pies, that someone's going to eat me? Who? Tell me who. It's just a story, Moo Moo. Nobody wants to snack on a cow's feet. I don't know about you, but... I'm going to stop eating so many pies from now on. Do whatever you want. I'm going to the restroom. Do you want to scare Rita? Yeah. <laughs> we'll put a pie on the ground, and when she comes back, she'll think that somebody wants to eat her. <laughs> She's going to be so scared. What's this 
doing here? Where did this pie come from? No, no. <laughs> this can't be happening. Somebody wants to eat me. Help, help, help. I'm sure somebody saw what meaty legs you have. And they said, I'm going to eat this in one bite. Hey, my legs aren't meaty. They're strong. And you know what? I am going to eat this pie in one bite. Do you mean you're not scared? I saw from over there how you put that pie where I was sitting. No fair, Rita. You ate the whole pie and now we don't have any dessert. The next time you want to play a joke on me, maybe you'll think twice before you do it. Now I'm going to tell you a scary story. I mean a real scary story. Once upon a time, in a faraway country, there was a man who... I think Alfred should be coming back soon. I hope everything went well on his date with Alfreda. They were only going to take a walk by the lake. What could go wrong there? You know that Alfred gets really nervous when he sees Alfreda. He could accidentally push her into the water. <laughs> Imagine how funny that would be. Hi, Alfred. How was your date? It was awesome and awful at the same time. Why's that? What happened? We were walking by the lake, looking at the fish and the trees and everything, when she asked me to go on a second date. Well, that's great, isn't it? Well, yes, it is, but the problem is that she wants to go dancing. Even better! It'll be a dancing date. Well, yes, but I don't know how to dance. I told her that I couldn't go dancing with her, and she got very upset. Why'd you tell her that, Alfred? You need to go back right now and tell her you'd love to go dancing with her. But I don't know how to dance. How do you expect me to go to a dance without knowing how? Don't worry about that, Alfred. I'm a top-notch dancer. I had no idea. How long have you known how to dance, Olga? There are many things about me, Milo, that you don't know. Take a good look. you could dance so well. You're incredible, Olga. Do you think you can teach me in two hours? In only two hours? Well, we'd better hurry then. I've been practicing for five years, but I'll show you the most basic steps so that you'll look like a great dancer. I want to dance with you too. Yes, of course, Milo, but step aside. What's important is that Alfred learns now. Alfred, do you know what kind of music they're going to play tonight? Well, I don't know. Is that important? Uh -huh. It's the most important thing. I could show you a classic dance step, but if they play jazz or pop, it'll never work. So what should we do? Where will you be going tonight? She told me there's an orchestra from out of town that's going to play. Well, if it's an orchestra from out of town, I'm sure they'll be playing the usual popular songs. So I'll just show you a few steps for pop music. But more importantly, whatever they play, you just dance these steps. And what should I do, Olga? You just try and imitate what I show Alfred. That is, if you can, all right? To start, I'll show you the first four consecutive steps so you can see how it's done. Then I'll show mm -hmm. them to you mm -hmm. one by one. They seem complicated, but I'll try to do them as best I can. It's real simple. Step one. Step two, step three, and step four. Now you try to do it. Very good, Alfred. Those are very basic steps, but it's a start. Now try and do the following four steps. I don't want to interrupt or anything like that, but wouldn't it be better to do these steps to music? First, I want you to learn a few of the steps, and then I'll show them to you with music. Understood, Professor. Now we're going to see them one by one. 
Step number five. <laughs> step six. <laughs> step seven. And eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I think I've got it now. Now try to do the eight steps together, one after the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay, Very Alfred. Good, Alfred. Don't stop and do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now you, Milo, follow us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's incredible. Now I know how to dance too. Look, Olga. One, two, three, oh, four, oh. five, six, seven, eight. See? And I could do it again. One, two, three, four, oh. five, six, seven, eight. It's awesome. Oh, very good. Now you've both learned your very first dance steps, and now it's time for some music. Alfred, with these steps, you can dance to almost anything. They're very simple, and at least you won't look ridiculous. What's up? Is there a party that no one told us about? Come on and join the group, you two. We're teaching some dance steps for the date that Alfred has tonight. Do you think you can follow the rhythm, too? Of course, this is real simple. I think this dancing thing suits me just fine. Now watch me do it. I do it much better than all of you. That's nothing. I know I'm the best. Woohoo! Uh, 